well, day three of the uh, high tunnel greenhouse uh, dismantling. So, the day before yesterday, on the 23rd of February, we've had this record heat wave going on. And uh, so, like right now, it's 56 degrees, the truck says. And it's, you know, 7.15 in the morning right now. So, uh, day one, Paul wasn't there. Went over, checked out the greenhouse, took some video of it. My wife hasn't seen it. Uh, and yesterday I went over after the big rainstorm came through yesterday afternoon. Got the plastic off the building, the wiggle wire off and all. And uh, got that loaded up, got it back home. Got it all put away, got the chores done. Uh, went out and did the chores this morning. And uh, I'm going to go over and see how much more I can get done before we've got the, uh, the cell that's coming across the uh, uh, Rochester. It's, it's passed through Rochester already, which is to our west. And that's going to hit us about 11 a.m. So I only have a couple hours to get as much down as I can. I'd really like to take it easy and just proceed through this uh, little bumpy here. Proceed through the process take my time getting all the parts down and all, and we take what we can get. So, we'll try to record what we can along the way. Hang in there, folks. Bye-bye now. Hey, guys. Well, here we are. Day three or day two of the de deconstruction. I've got the ridge pole down. I'm trying to use my hand here. Uh, the side purlins down. Uh, I still got to get the baseboards off. Got uh, m most of the hardware off, so so far so good. Did a little sprinkle a little while ago. I think maybe I've got an hour to two hours max. Uh, I see a lot of the buds because of this warm weather. Buds are already start are completely swollen on some of these trees and opening up. Hope that doesn't happen to my fruit trees. Okay, back to work, guys. Well, things are going okay so far. As you can see, I got the hoops down. And uh, let's see, spin around here. They're in the trailer. I still haven't gotten the, uh, the side panels, I'm sorry, the roll-ups taken apart yet. I was hoping Paul come by, but looks like uh, He's not. The rain's going to be here probably about a half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm guessing. Hopefully, I could see if I can get some of these uh, stakes up that hold the hoops. I did the measurements. The, the uh, hoops are four foot on center apart. And the span between the uh, two walls ends up being uh, 17 feet 3 inches in the one place that I checked uh, from uh, outside of the post to the outside of the post. So at least that gives me a reference. It might have been just 17 feet and then uh, it spread some with the weight. So I'm going to proceed and move on. Bye bye. Uh, it's 
supposed to get a big, the storm system looked like a pretty big heavy front coming from the west. It looks like we're just at the beginning of it. So we'll have to see what it's like tomorrow. I know the cold front's coming in and we're expecting the snow tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. I haven't seen what the latest forecast is. But I did want to have this heavy trailer sitting down there on that steep angle with all that uh, just basically on top of some uh, topsoil. A good way of getting stuck down there. So that's it for today. Got a lot done. I'm pretty happy. Most of it is in the back of the trailer. And we'll see what happens the next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. This thing recording? Yeah. <laughs>